Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis. Welcome back to Coffee Computers and More, the 2024 Honda Ridgeline Trail Sport. So we didn't know what the pricing of the 2024 Ridgelines was looking like until today. It's currently December 13th of 2023 and nobody else on YouTube has announced the pricing. So I'm going to do that for you and talk about the Trail Sport trim, what it's going to offer. There's a lot of other videos on YouTube that do that. We'll make it as short and concise as possible and also talk about a trim line that's going to disappear and how that might affect you if you're thinking about buying a Ridgeline either right now as a 2023 or holding out for a 2024. I recently drove a 2023 Ridgeline RTLE, was thinking about buying it, but there was one feature about it that I just could not get over. That was the reason why I didn't get it. So right now I'm considering either a Passport Trail Sport or holding on for the Ridgeline Trail Sports to start hitting the dealerships, uh, which according to the dealerships where I live, it's going to happen at some point here in January of 2024. It's going to happen real soon. So they're going to be shipping soon. So before we do anything, let's just jump right into it. Let's talk about the prices, what to expect. This is taken from Car and Driver uh, Magazine Online, and uh, this is what they have to say. Prices on these ridge lines are definitely going up, and there's a lot of incentives right now uh, for a 2023. And I'm not uh, trying to like push, you know, for Honda or anything like that. I'm just saying that you can save quite a bit of money um, if you pick up a 2023 model, although it's not going to have all the features that the Trail Sport trim has to offer. So first of all, the Trail Sport trim is going to be starting at forty six thousand three hundred fifty five, uh, and we'll talk about the specific features. Just a couple things you notice right off the bat is this blue color. Uh, this blue color, I believe, is exclusive to the Trail Sport line. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but you'll see it when you go to the Honda website. If you want to get that particular blue, you have to get a Trail Sport. Um, also, you've got an exclusive grill design for the Trail Sport model, slightly redesigned front end. And we'll talk about a few more of the features here in just a little bit. So let's get right into the pricing for starters. Okay, so the 2024 Ridgeline is going to start at $40,175 for the base Sport model and $46,000 for the new Trail Sport off-road model. And that's going to be replacing the RTLE in the lineup. Now it's going to keep the majority of the RTLE features. So you're not losing a whole lot except for the truck bed audio system is going to disappear. And also I believe the LED lighting option or cargo bed lighting is going to disappear uh, in the Trail Sport model. So those two things are going to disappear, but there's a lot of crucial features you're going to get to keep and a lot more features that the Trail Sport's going to offer, which we'll talk about here in just a little bit. Uh, there's also a $43,955 RTL model and a $47,725 um, black edition to round things out. And the prices are going to be at between $120 and $950, depending on which trim you're planning on buying. Uh, it looks like the Trail Sport is going to have a slightly lower fuel economy, and that's going to be due to the more aggressive tires, which we'll talk about here in just a little bit. So we are looking at uh, General Grabber AT Sport tires, uh, power folding mirrors, a special sky blue paint option that's going to be happening. Uh, pewter gray 18 inch wheels are going to be coming along with it and some underbody protection. The big thing, the big news is the stamped ridge line in the tailgate, as you can see right here. You're still going to have that two way opening tailgate that the uh, ridge lines have to offer. Dual exhaust, uh, slightly uh, redesigned rear bumper. It is set up for towing. It's going to be, I believe, 5,000 pounds of towing capability and almost 1,600 pounds of payload. So it is below the other competitors in the midsize pickup class, but it's still going to offer quite a bit for what it is. And, uh, you know, for people that are looking for Ridgeline, they're not necessarily people that are looking for, you know, a full size truck experience. Uh, the big thing about that is you can put a, what, four foot piece of plywood flat across the bottom, and I think that'll fit between the wheel arches. So that's something that's kind of a big deal for people that might do a lot of work on, on homes, et cetera, and moving on. Uh, so there's also a seven inch digital gauge cluster that's going to be standard and a nine inch infotainment screen, which has revised software and a faster processor. We'll show you that here in just a little bit. Um, it's going to definitely increase the speed, although I got to be honest with you, when I test drove the 2023, um, I didn't really notice the multimedia system or infotainment to be that laggy. Of course, I drive a 2020 Hyundai Kona, and that's not exactly cutting edge technology, although it does have a decent touchscreen in it. So looking at it, the big change on the interior, you're going to get the Trail Sport. Uh, with orange stitching on the seats, Trail Sport is going to be embossed in the headrest. Um, the center console, the, the center armrest is going to be a one-piece, fairly large center console that you got going on there. Uh, looks pretty deep in the videos that I've watched before. So that one feature is the reason why I'm either going to wait for a 2024 Ridgeline Trail Sport, uh, or I'm going to um, go with a uh, Honda Passport Trail Sport. The center console. So if you go with the 2023 or earlier, well, to a certain point, um, they have these captain's chairs armrests. And when I was driving, I just could not 
get comfortable when I was test driving the 2023. I have always driven with my left hand on the steering wheel, my right elbow on the console, and that's kind of it. I kind of brace myself when I'm driving. To not have that was just driving me nuts. I don't know how you Ridge Line owners get used to that. Maybe it just doesn't bother you. But I kept like falling over when I was test driving. It was really weird. Uh, so anyway, and when I drink coffee, man, I gotta gotta be able to have a place to rest my right elbow. Well, this is gonna give me an opportunity to do so. So that's why I'm really interested in it. Uh, like we said before, you've got that gauge cluster that we were talking about, where you've got the digital half on the left hand side, the analog on the right, and there's gonna be a little ledge there that you can rest your finger on. Um, I don't know if the 2024 um, Passport Trail Sport's gonna have that little ledge for the multimedia system that you see there, where you can rest your finger while you're swiping. Doesn't matter. I can function without it. You are going to have the same kind of push button, nine speed uh, automatic transmission that you see down below. I do know that the Passport Trail Sports are going to have that single piece um, armrest in them as those are already starting to ship right now. And so to me, that's a big deal. That's definitely what I want. Now, it does have the IVTM4 torque vectoring system, which is a little bit different. Um, it can move up to 70 percent of the truck's power uh, to the real to the rear wheels or up to 100% of that 70% of the power to one wheel as needed. It also has a lot of different um, terrain models that it's gonna be offering. And uh, you're gonna be able to switch between those. I guess they've retuned the software to be a little bit more reactive or just better for different off-road situations with the trail sport model. And the other big thing too is gonna be the changes in the suspension, the shocks, the springs, the stabilizer bars. It's gonna be more off-road compliant, off-road ready. I guess you could say you're not really gonna get a lift at all though. The only real lift you're gonna get is gonna come from those uh, new tires, which are gonna be, I think, a little bit taller than the stock tires that are on there because of the chunkier tread. All right, so I'm currently taking you over to the uh, Honda website real quick here. They finally have the 2024 building options on here, although you can't build an order. It will build and locate the nearest um, uh, ridge line to the one that you're trying to put together. So Sport, RTL, Trail Sport, Black Edition, again, starting at 39.7 for a Sport model. <clears throat> And again, you can see the main differences between what the what the models and what they have to offer. And you can click on see more. Uh, and again, like I said, with the trail sport, uh, the, the skid plate that you're going to have on the bottom, it's just going to cover the lower oil pan. It's not going to be like a full skid plate, although I'm sure the aftermarket is going to support it just like it already does for the 2023 and earlier models. There's a lot that you can do to these trail sports like lift kits, uh, you know, different skid plates to protect different parts of the underside if you want to. So now when you go to build, there's just one thing I want to show you real quick before we wrap up here. So it does have the 280 horsepower V6 all wheel drive, uh, different colors. You can get the black pearl, the uh, lunar silver metallic, which is what I'm interested in, or the modern steel metallic for no additional cost. And then if you upgrade to that uh, sky blue pearl, that's going to be $455. That's the new color that's been added. Uh, if you want the white or the red, red metallic or radiant red, Metallic 2, that's going to be another $455, as well as the Sonic Gray Pearl, that's going to be an additional $455 if you decide to go that route. Uh, the black leather interior looks like it's your only option if you go silver. Uh, let's go back and try something different here. Let's take the Radiant Red Metallic 2 and see if we have another option for a color. We don't. It's going to be black leather. So, oh, it looks like they did eliminate that uh, dark blue color that did disappear from the exterior colors. Yeah, so you can't get that dark blue color. So if you like that real dark, deep blue that they have, it's almost like a cobalt. You probably want to go ahead and pick yourself up a 2023. So let's go ahead and keep moving through the configurator here. You do have two different wheel options. You can get some 18-inch HPD Shark Gray machined alloy wheels, which look really nice. That's 1880 for a set of four. That's about 425 bucks a wheel. I don't know what aftermarket wheels run for vehicles. It's been years since I bought any, but seems like a, pr a pretty good deal for 18 inch uh, Toyota HPD rims. Otherwise you get those 18 inch uh, General Grabber AT tires on those Peter Gray uh, wheels. And I think that wheel design is exclusive to the uh, Trail Sports model, that particular wheel style. Uh, now they're going to have the adventure package, which is going to tack 4465 to the price, $4,465. Uh, it's got crossbars and different fenders and a roof rack and other other different options to it. Um, there's a cargo storage package for $1,500 that's going to give you a tonneau cover and additional storage options for the bed. There's an outdoor essentials package, which mentions a crossbar, hood protector, et cetera, at $1,649. Um, outdoor essentials package two, uh, crossbar fender flares, um, black running, running boards, et cetera. And then finally, just a basic protection package for $290. That's going to feature front and rear splash guards, wheel locks, and an in-bed cargo tray. So you do have some options. Oh, and then also the uh, 
rugged utility package is also being offered for 1005 Now we're not going to add any of those things. We're just going to go with, we'll go with Radiant Red Metallic Paint. Let's just say that we wanted to pick one up. Let's take it all the way through to the end and see what we're looking at for, for cost here. You can get um, a black rear Honda gloss black emblem for 50 bucks if you don't want chrome. You can also get for 160 you can get the rear Ridgeline black uh, letters. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be dealer installed. I'm assuming that's going to be dealer installed when you buy it, or you can buy yourself and install it yourself if you want to. There's an HPD decal graphics you can get. Um, there's an HPD lower door trim, which looks like it sticks on some sort of molding. That's $400. So you can definitely customize this if you want to. Um, utility hooks, door sill protection, first aid kit, a lot of the usual stuff that you're used to seeing. It's also going to have that in-bed uh, trunk like we saw before on the ridge lines previously. Oh, this does show us the interior, by the way, as you guys are looking. This lower half of the HVAC and climate controls, very, very similar to what's in the 2023s right now. Slightly different uh, tray design here for charging your phone. It looks like it's gonna go the opposite direction before it was horizontal. Now it looks like it's laying vertical or laying flat, pointing away from you. And you can have two phones sitting next to each other, but it's only gonna charge on the left-hand side. Uh, looks like we also have a in-bed cargo net that's available. And let's just take it to the end here. Some welcome side lights, which I don't think that's available in the 2023s. And an engine block heater if you want it. So base price, $44,980 uh, for the Trail Sport. Uh, let's see here. $455 for Radiant Merid Metallic 2. $1375 for destination handling fees with no additional packages for a total of $46,810. Not including any kind of dealer prep or additional paperwork, et cetera. But at least you know you can get it to the dealership for that price. You might be able to negotiate a little bit. I do know that the dealership that I'm talking to, they've got two of them coming in. One of them's already spoken for. So a lot of people are kind of ripping on the trail sport saying they'd never buy it. They'd never get it. And it's so funny, whenever you look at, you know, uh, what's pending sale right now, if you go to the Honda website for a lot of these dealerships, it's a trail sport trims. People are buying them. So love it or not, hate it or not, people are buying the trail sport trim. It is popular. A lot of the passport trail sports are already spoken for. When you look them up on, online, they're already showing sale pending. And I can imagine that the Ridgeline trail sport isn't going to be much different. All right, let's just bring it back for a few final words. Last thing I want to add here is that we're looking at 7.9 inches of ground clearance. And so that's what you can expect to get. Uh, it looks like it isn't going to be a whole lot changed uh, from what you currently have on the current Ridgeline, maybe an inch or so, but I think that's going to be due to the tires primarily. So anyway, guys, this is Travis. Thanks for watching Coffee Computers and More, and this is our take on the 2024 Honda Ridgeline. Just wanted to get those prices out to you because, well, nobody else out there on YouTube is announcing it, so we wanted to do that for you. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and if I do pick up a Ridgeline or a Passport, I'll do some videos on it. I'll probably put the videos on both channels that I have uh, on YouTube, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. So it looks like it's something that people are going to be interested in. But anyway, guys, I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe, drink lots of coffee. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.